Biologically speaking, we have not only special programs SBS, but also meta programs, the so-called schizophrenic constellations. This is a charming word which explains uh, our so-called civilization. The active phase of the constellation, that's to say the simultaneous active phase of the both hemophocus in the brain, produce a phase displacement in the brain rhythm and on the organic and psychic levels too. The constellation also reduces the organic symptoms because it reduces the conflictual mass. I found uh, uh, a summary, <laughs> an example of uh, this constellation into the Chopin's Nocturne. Chopin was able to express the different vibrations between the two active hemispheres. With the contratempo, rather, he expressed the simultaneous presence of two different times, four quarters, four quarters played by the left hand and three quarters played by the right hand. This is the result of a schizophrenic constellation uh, by Chopin, and uh, we can see a three quarters, the three quarters part played by the right hand and the four quarters uh, part played by the left hand. Knowing that this is the result of a schizophrenic constellation, we immediately understand that trying to repress, trying to stop each symptom uh, coming from this constellation is absolutely silly. Because if we would have healed <laughs> the Chopin's symptoms, Today, we wouldn't have even this. When we listen to this piece, as I said before, we have really la sensazione che qualcosa nella percezione del tempo cambi. Quindi io, insomma, a me piace immaginare che eh, una costellazione schizofrenica, eh, proprio grazie al suo senso biologico, eh, possa veramente offrire una chiave d'accesso a qualcosa che altrimenti sarebbe così interdetto, insomma, che sia la dimensione temporale, che sia quella spaziale, poi magari così a seconda delle, delle varie combinazioni di costellazioni che si possono appunto ottenere grazie all'attivazione di un conflitto, di due conflitti piuttosto che altri, insomma. By Mozart, more or less it happens the same. Uh, it doesn't express two different times because uh, uh, musicians uh, were not used at that time. But uh, he expressed, he expresses this uh, constellation and uh, I mean simulating a contratempo using different uh, accents. Uh, a very special accentuation and, uh, and really uh, hearing this, listen, listening to this piece, we have the feeling that we lost the landmark of the measure. This is the symphony number 40 by Mozart and this is the top, the most dramatic point of, the, of this first movement. I 
found out the quintessence, the Allegretto from the Silent Symphony by Beethoven. And uh, this uh, special piece, piece I think, um, can express really the fifth biological law of the Germanic New Medicine in music. Uh, actually, with the dynamic of music. And this is what really um, moves us to, uh, to play a piece of music. This is also the expression of the power of the second law. This is the, the rising up toward the epileptoid, the epileptic crisis, towards the epicrisis. and scientific principles which our academy is based on. But GNM is not only a science. The Sandefjord University is the expression of a much bigger will. And our will not only refers to medicine, but also to art and lifestyle. The GNM's criteria are universal cosmic criteria and we can find them out from every event, both in nature and in life, and music shows it very strictly. This means that we have to work, think and live differently from dogmas. Uh, we have to stop thinking about categories, because our tries to join the cosmos criteria are inhibited from categories. Most of times, musicians ignore mathematics and physics. At best, they learn them just to pass an exam. And doctors ignore mathematics and physics and music, too, and vice versa, because our knowledge is based on statistics and dogmas. Today, we are used to strictly separate between the different categories. But the criterion is one, and we ignored it until Dr. Hammer made a wonderful synthesis, simply starting from medicine, his main field. With the Academy for the Biological Meaning in Performing, we try to open our knowledge to a biological and cosmic criterion toward the quintessence which governs we human beings, like part of the cosmos. <laughs> <laughs> 